ConsciousZine.com Chronicles. Hello guys, let's do another video, a good one, it should be a nice beneficial one. So preventing organic portal energy stealing techniques and tips. Start with a little bit of an introduction spiel. You can feel them like in Star Wars where the dark side siths. Uh, try psychically look at your memory and thoughts. You can feel them do this to you and it begins to tilt your head backwards two inches to the telepathic morphogenic field grid cloud. And uh, the organic portal is not psychic. It is the matrix hive mind, the demonic minds coming through them, the demonic spirits and so on coming through them. Don't trigger them. Okay, let's start here, but we're we're going to go through all these. These were the main ones, but and I added this as well. Don't trigger them. Uh, if you talk like esoteric, higher knowledge stuff, anything unusual or out of the ordinary, and um, you know, you might think, well, then I'm not being myself. I'm not expressing myself. But you know, deceptions built into nature, like a spider's web, is not meant to be seen. And many animals have camouflage. So, you know, to navigate this reality, you might have to do the same thing, especially when things seem to be getting more difficult to escape the matrix or, you know, escape the lower part of it, the society trap. So, be invisible. So, you can put ways to be invisible, you know, pretend to be normal inside of the box. Um, fool, you know, a fool can't play the role of a wise man, but you as a sold human or wise man can play the role of the fool. Sorry, my cursor is sticking. Uh, drop your, your uh, energy from your head or your crystal room, your third eye, to the belly, okay? Now, why do this? Because remember the picture of the organic portals how the, they are only active in the bottom three chakras and they haven't had the incension ascension through the higher heart. I've shown you that picture many times before. I think it's the people from Veil of Reality, uh, that Gunther Bernard who made that picture, I'm pretty sure. Um, that white picture and it shows the sold human next to the organic portal and it says soul potential and has all the colors of the chakras filled in for the soul human but the top chakras from the heart up are empty for the organic portal except the lower ones are not and what you can do is sort of retract your energy from the top chakras as well and so you sort of uh, stop pulsing out light from your top chakras and drop all the energy into your belly and it's a, a kind of way to disappear I realized especially do not hold energy strongly in your heart or in your uh, third eye crystal room because you're just uber noticeable you're over noticeable then if you're just shining so if they get silent they're definitely contacting the hive mind and that means you've triggered them Okay, so then you should get silent, <laughs> okay, because they're letting the hive mind know, um, or they're contacting the demon spirits, essentially. Essentially, the hive mind is contacting the, the upper dimensional demons. So, uh, movement. So, body movements, chi flicks. Chi flicks is just like... You might just flick part of your shoulder, your head, or your arm, anything. 
but it's chi coming through the, the blocks. Um, obviously grounding is a whole segment I could add here. Uh, but I've made separate videos about grounding and I, I do want to add it into every organic portal healing video but I can talk about grounding for quite a long time so it suffice to say that you're gonna stand on the big ball of your uh, sorry your big toe ball which is your K1 kidney 1 meridian and we're gonna show the meridian pictures oh, I guess I'll do that now so your big toe sends Morse code, little da -da 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 -da, off your nervous system to the earth. Okay, so the kidney meridian, which is better viewed in another picture here. Uh, where is it? This one, I think. So you can see the kidney meridian goes down to the toe, and viewed there as well. Okay, so you want the, the kidney meridian there, that one. The blue one that goes to the big toe there, you see? Because the, the other blue one here is the, the bladder meridian. So this is the one I'm talking about, the dark blue. And what you want to do is have that on the ground. It's not just good enough to sit on the ground. Okay, let's move on because I can talk a lot more about grounding, but we're going to get lost in it. So movement. Body movements, chi flicks, grounding. Obviously, while you're grounding, you'll get chi flicks. And that's just the chi pushing through density, densities in your body or blocks. Um, so, it's like chi flicks, like tweaks. Yeah. Out of physical ley line sight. So, get out of their physical sight. Okay. Physically move yourself out of their sight. That's a way to prevent organic portal energy stealing. Massively. You'll notice that if you get out of their ley line sight, they'll start to do sound attacks like coughs and try and get your attention with bangs and sound, little annoying sounds, scrapes, little tiny hammer sounds, whatever. So you can get out of the sight and then get out of the sound by turning up the volume and we're going to go through that part here, okay? Even crunching the packets of when I used to eat like packets of chips at university, that would do it. Um, I no longer really eat packaged foods. So tilt head forward and down. I've mentioned this in a few videos. You've heard me say that. Because it disconnects from the telepathic grid. Um, I remember Terence McKenna even mentioned something about that. Uh, two, head, two inch head tilt. It's not even a big head tilt, head tilt, but also in the Google Tech Talks video where you see uh, Dr. Vili Doctor come in and teach the Kundalini technique. Uh, she even mentions when you're forgiving people in the third eye, you hold your hand over your third eye, uh, your right hand or your left hand, depending on which uh, side of the the channel that you're clearing. The uh, what is it? The the Ida or the ping, Pingala on either side of the Shashumna. Uh, so you, t you want to tilt your head forward and uh, it disconnects from the telepathic grid. And you can even press the back of your head, hit the back of your head and go chi, 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 and hit the back of your head as well. And this will this feeds into this next point uh, that will help open the medulla oblongata or God's mouth at the back of the brain stem, so that you get the clairsentient spinal fluid and star noises and, and star embedded light in your uh, spinal fluid come through to your brain and begin to have your own vision again. Now, also the nose, play with the nose. You can see a lot more on this from Mantak Chia. But just basically wiping your nose from side to side, um, because it and and squeezing it and pressure pointing it. Um, sorry, I, I'm, I maybe I should have shown you a visual and shown my face while I was shooting this. But uh, just look into Muntak Chia's work and the Chisa Chisa facial massage, and you'll start to learn about the frontal functional channel from him as well. 
Kriya Yoga also mentions the frontal functional channel, but I find Mantak Chia has good free information on it. So the frontal functional channel is from the teeth, the top teeth down. Um, the governor channel is up the spine. This is what everybody knows about. I find a lot of people don't know about the frontal functional channel though. So that's down the front, okay, not up, pulling energy up the spine, that's letting energy drop down the front, and your nose is like where it starts, so play with your nose a bit. Mudras, well, I think a lot of people know what a mudra is, little hand movements, basically, we can summarize it as geometrical hand styles or movements. Um, you put your hands and your fingers in certain geometrical uh, location or shapes and just google it because there's some good pictures out there. Um, it's, it's pretty quick to google and get knowledge on hand mudras. So refocus the eye, so your third eye, right? But via eye blinking, like the the forehead, literally the physical forehead, blink, blink the middle there, very thorough, a big blink, not just your eyes, like I'm talking blink your forehead, basically, that's why I said the eye blink, third eye region, like your, your brow, you know, where your eyebrows are, spinal adjustments, and it, it moves the nerves over the top of the head, and uh, uh, we are going to go into that here as well. The top of the head is pretty important because we've also mentioned the head tilt. But uh, when you do this eye blink, it, it moves the nerves and clears the nerves on that go over the top of the head as well. Okay, so spinal adjustments of other sorts, you know, just whatever you want to do. Uh, tilting your head from side to side, back and forth, rolling your head, um, sit straight up, get a, a straight spine, pretty important, um, just spinal adjustments, okay, head adjustments, so you, you're adjusting your head on your spine, neck cracking, a lot of uh, high vibrational kids I know do this as well, um, where attention goes, energy flows, right? So when they're energy stealing, they're stealing your attention. Sorry, my mouse is sticking again. Uh, you know, where attention goes, energy flows. So just focus on your attention. And one of the best ways to do this, or if not the best, is breath work. Or pranyam yamha. Pranamyama. Prana breathing. So learn prana techniques, I've got one video up, um, but learn prana breathing techniques. There's 10 pranic airs, and prana is 10th dimensional. For instance, reiki is 7th dimensional. Chi is 5th dimensional. Chi energy in, has all these upper dimensional energies embedded in it. So that's why it's very important to ground to get life force energy directly from the earth, not on grounding technology, like grounding mats or grounding bed sheets. Uh, mantras, mantra is, you know, a yantra too, you know, like Mandela's, but mantras as well, um, you know, that means like uh, little philosophies to yourself, repeating phrases or sentences, stuff like that, that's a mantra. Now, this is the mantra I want to tell you about. It's uh, from the Google Tech Talks video I found where Dr. Vili, Doctor comes in and that video is called How to Heal Psychosomatic Disorders with Meditation. And it's part of the Google Tech Talks on YouTube. So you say, Mother Kundalini, grant me self-realization as you rub the top of your head clockwise very important clockwise because the top half of the Merkar bar spins clockwise a lot of research has been done into this the bottom half of the Merkar bar or the bottom facing triangle 
uh, which is what organic portals are in, and that's why they're often so negative. That's what negative souled humans are trapped in, the bottom half of the Merkar bar. There is no top half for them. Or for a negative souled human, they just don't spin it. They have access to it, but they're negative. <laughs> uh, organic portals do not have access to the upper spinning, upper triangle of the Merkar bar, which spins clockwise. Meridians, we already showed you that. Turn up the volume when you get out of physical sight, they'll start to make noises, so slam stuff that can Shakti shock them. Shakti is shock energy. 